Hey everybody, welcome to John Allen Outside. I'm John, and today we're gonna to learn how to make a polycryo tent footprint. Many backpackers like to use a tent footprint as a protective layer between the bottom of their tent and the ground. Now, you can go out and spend 50 bucks or even a heck of a lot more on a store-bought tent footprint that may or may not be the exact dimensions for your tent, or you can watch this video and learn how to make a custom tent footprint that will fit your tent perfectly at a fraction of the cost. Let's go. Generally speaking, most DIY tent footprints are made out of one of two materials, either Tyvek or Polycryo. I already have a video on how to make a tent footprint out of Tyvek, so this one is gonna be focused on Polycryo. The materials are quite different and I will be comparing and contrasting them as we go throughout this video. Before we get started, let's talk about some of those differences in Tyvek and Polycryo. And the type of equipment you're using and the type of terrain in which you're gonna be backpacking can influence which one is going to be best for you. Tyvek is a very tough, durable material that is just about impossible to tear. I've been using this particular Tyvek tent footprint for years. It doesn't have a single hole in it and you couldn't tear this stuff if you tried. Polycryo, on the other hand, is more of a thin, filmy material, kind of like a plastic saran wrappy type stuff that is not nearly as tough as Tyvek. However, it is a lot less bulky and it is quite a bit lighter than Tyvek. In my opinion, Polycryo is a good choice if you have a Dyneema tent like the ones made from Z-Pax. On the other hand, if you have a nylon tent, you might want the added protection of the stronger, tougher Tyvek fabric. The Z-Pax tent I picked up last year it said in the manual that you don't necessarily even need to use a tent footprint if you don't want to. And all of last year I didn't because most of my hiking was in kind of soft dirt type areas, more in the woods. However, this year I'm gonna be spending some time out west in the mountains where it's a heck of a lot rockier. That's why I'm gonna be taking this polycryo tent footprint with me. I need that extra protection from all the gravel and rocks. I don't wanna get any holes cut in the bottom of my tent. Let me just clarify what I'm talking about here. If I'm camping in a soft area with my Dyneema tent, I'm not gonna use a tent footprint. However, in a rocky area, I'm gonna be going with a polycryo tent footprint just to give me that added bit of protection. On the other hand, with a nylon tent, if I'm in a soft area, I'm still using a tent footprint, I could go with polycryo or Tyvek, either one. If it's rocky and I'm using a nylon tent, I would absolutely use a tent footprint and it would be Tyvek only. I just don't feel like the polycryo would be strong enough for me in that situation. So hopefully that clarifies what I was trying to say in this section. All right, enough of that background stuff. Let's jump right into how to make the polycryo tent footprint. The first step is you just wanna get out there and set up your tent exactly how you would when you're out on trail. Set it up exactly the same. The next thing you want to do is get a rough length and width measurement. And the reason you're just taking a rough measurement is you just want to understand how much polycryo you need to order. So just to get a tape measure out, how long, how wide, and then you figure out how much polycryo you're going to need. The next step, obviously, is to order your polycryo. Now, I got mine from gossamergear.com. It was 11 bucks and you can get them from Amazon, and you can get them from a couple of different places. It doesn't really matter where you get it, as long as it's made of polycryo and it's big enough for your tent, you'll be set. Before you take your tent down, it's time to go back out there and get the exact measurements and dimensions of exactly what your tent footprint is gonna look like. So go back out there, get some graph paper, get a tape measure, pencil, or a pen, and let's get to it. One of the most important things when you're building your own custom tent footprint is that it does not extend outside the boundaries of your tent itself. And really importantly, do not let it extend outside your actual rain fly. The reason for this is if water runs off of your rain fly and gets onto your tent footprint, it will run right under your tent and you can end up getting soaked. So you wanna make sure it is not gonna get any water on it running down from the sides of your tent or from your rain fly. The way I make mine is I like to have it so it just is exactly under the base of my tent. I don't have any extra material that way. I don't have to worry about any water getting on there. Now we're outside, I've got the tape measure. We're gonna get some exact measurements. And some people have said, well, why don't you take your polycryo and just throw it under the tent and just cut around there? You can do that. But the reason that I like to get the precise measurements and then cut it out on the floor is so that it's perfect. Because like I said before, you cannot have any water that gets onto your footprint. It will go underneath your tent and it get all wet. All right, let's go start measuring. 
Now mine is 43 inches on the shorter way, and I'm going to measure it the long way. All right, it turns out that it's 86 inches the long way, so my tent is 43 by 86. Anyone who's using a Z-Pax duplex tent, you can steal those measurements and use those for yourself. All right, let's go downstairs and we will continue with the next steps. The next step is to take the polycryo once it arrives in the mail and spread it out on a flat surface and then tape each of the four corners down so you get it nice and taut. From there, you're gonna take your pattern and you're gonna transfer it directly to that polycryo. I like to take a marker and just draw it out on there, a dry erase marker in case I need to erase anything. But I will take that marker and I will draw out exactly where I'm going to cut. So if you need some more help on how do I exactly get that pattern off my graph paper onto the polycryo and it's a more complex pattern, watch my Tyvek tent footprint video. I'll put a link in the description, but I go through step by step how exactly to do that. I've already done it once before, so I don't want to redo that work, but check out the other video if you have more of a complex pattern. Mine is a rectangle, so it's super easy, so let's get rolling. For cutting it out, you just cut along the lines and you can use any tool that you want to. And take a look at this thing here. This is a, a tool that my wife has for cutting fabric and just the blade slides out and very easy to use. The main thing is you just wanna make sure that you have something solid underneath. If you're gonna use scissors, you probably don't need that. If you're gonna use one of those tools or if you're gonna use like an X-Acto knife or some kind of a blade, make sure you're protecting your floor. But let's just simply cut this thing out and we'll be all set. All right, we got it all cut out. Let's take a look. We'll put it under the tent and see how we did. We got it done and it is perfect. It's not sticking out from underneath the tent at all. Definitely not sticking out from the rain fly and looks great. So now that the polycryo tent footprint is done, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison with the Tyvek and see the differences. As you can see here, looking at the bulk, the polycryo tent footprint is gonna take up a lot less space in my pack. And that is important because, man, this Tyvek footprint, although I loved it, it was so bulky. Next, let's take a look at the weight. The Tyvek 10 footprint weighs in at 8.2 ounces on my scale. The polycryo footprint comes in at 2.2 ounces on my scale. So about one quarter of the weight of the Tyvek 10 footprint. I think lighter and less bulky is a huge advantage for the polycryo over the Tyvek. However, you do lose the durability of the Tyvek if you use polycryo. I'm gonna use the polycryo tent footprint this season and I'm gonna show you at the end of the season what it looked like. I'll just go ahead and put a comment in there at the end of this backpacking season and I'll tell you how it went. Were there any holes in it? Did it hold up great? Because I'd like to follow up with everybody and just kind of know what to expect if you make a footprint out of this material. If you end up making one of these polycryo tent footprints, please share in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Also, if you have any tips or tricks, please share those too because I'd appreciate it and so would your fellow backpackers. As always, if you found any value in this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks, and we'll see you out on the trail.